with me now, the UK leader Nigel Farage. What in your view should our response be to the events in Tunisia in particular, but the unfolding attacks from Islamic State elsewhere? Well, my main concern is, is here. My main concern is protecting ourselves as much as we possibly can uh, against such atrocities happening on mainland Britain. I think we have to say uh, that our security services are currently arresting one suspected terrorist every day. Uh, clearly, they're doing a very, very good job. Uh, and they need to, because we've got 300 people here who've been to Syria, who fought with IS, mm -hmm. who've been brutalized by that process. But my concern is, and nobody wants to talk about this, you know, 160,000 people so far this year have crossed the Mediterranean and landed in Italy and in Greece. The EU is now implementing a common EU asylum policy. The criteria for it are so wide that it actually means that anybody that comes from Africa can stay. We've already seen photographic evidence in one of those boats going into Sicily of a man who was a suspect for the first Tunisian outrage uh, when 22 people were killed at the museum. And IS themselves are saying they will use this as an opportunity mm -hmm. to flood Europe with jihadists. So what should we do? Uh, what we should do, uh, firstly, is say to Mr Juncker and the rest of Europe, you are making a dreadful mistake. What you ought to do is what the Australians did in 2008 when they faced the same problem uh, with, with large numbers of migrants coming across the oceans and you know, boats sinking and people drowning. And the Australians said, I'm sorry, you will not make your home in Australia and the people stop coming. That's the first thing we should do. And the second thing is we get this complacency from the British government and the Foreign Office. Oh, it's okay. We're opted out of the common asylum policy. You saw in Calais this week that actually the